Hey there, Coin Metallurgist here, and uh, this video is my uh, silver plate um, kitchen utensil pickups um, that I'm going to show you from this last weekend. Um, if you remember uh, a couple videos ago, I was talking about how I learned that uh, you can um, sell these to people who want to make jewelry on eBay um, for about 50 cents to a dollar a piece. So um, when I'm out garage selling, I shoot to when I see these to try to buy them for about a quarter each or less. Um, all these ones down here are a bunch of different silver plate spoons, and then these ones are nickel silver spoons. Um, and these ones I actually didn't get garage selling, but um, I was telling my grandma about how I was going to start uh, buying these when I saw them, and she uh, found these uh, somewhere in her house that she had got over the years and it's basically one spoon from a bunch of different sets so I think that would be absolutely perfect for someone trying to make jewelry because there's all different ones um, and I'm not sure if the nickel silver ones I can get as much money for hopefully I can they they have the same kind of uh, appearance even though they have no silver in them whatsoever it's a copper nickel alloy I believe um, and the ones over here are the ones that I got last weekend that I showed you. So I basically had two purchases um, this weekend, um, two different sets, and then there were a few extra that weren't in the sets. Um, so this set is by Onida, um, and I looked up the uh, design, and it's called, um, it's like... Croy, Croydon. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. It's not a particularly old design. Um, this is a set of eight, so there's eight knives, eight forks. For some reason, there's ten spoons. Um, and then they had a few little itty bitty spoons that I got with the set for these ones and one of that one. Um, all in really good condition. Um, I know I've seen the spoons usually sell better on eBay than anything else, so. Uh, that's what I'm more interested in. And then this set um, is by, let's see here, it's marked, uh, I gotta get this in focus for you. It's marked Harmony House Plate, double uh, A plus, um, but it's actually produced, manufactured by a company called Wallace, and the uh, name of this design was May time. I looked it up as well. Nothing uh, super special about that design. Um, in with these, there were actually a few spoons uh, that are slightly different designs, but I guess someone thought they matched close enough. Um, tablespoon there, and then a few of these um, small, long handle spoons that are slightly different. These ones, I think. Are completely different band, brand here. We have uh, Plymouth Silver Plate, but they kind of match the set. Um, this set's uh, older. I think this uh, design was about 1944. Um, look really nice for making jewelry, and it's a lot less complete. So there's like three knives. Um, well, the, it's a lot less complete. But that set only has knives, one size spoon, one size fork. This set's got two size spoons, knives, two size forks, and serving spoons. So it's got two of these big serving spoons, four of those, a bunch of those spoons, three knives, six of those forks, and I think five of the larger forks. So um, not like a complete set, um, but where I'm just trying to hopefully sell them to someone uh, who wants to use them for crafting purposes. I don't think that would be that big of a deal. Um, I might uh, try to sell them to someone who wants them as a set and wants to try to kind of complete the set and use them. Not sure about that yet. Um, but I think this is perfect for someone who wants to do crafting stuff. Just all, like one of each design. It's kind of really cool. It's almost like you want to keep on having one spoon of all these different uh, designs. Um, but I probably won't keep them forever. Um, so kind of happy with those. I didn't spend very much money on them at all. Um, uh, you know, I, I was shooting for a quarter uh, 
a utensil or less. I think I paid $7 for this set, um, but I also got a few pieces of silver jewelry with that as well. And then this set, all of these I paid $5 for. So there's 39 pieces here. So I think I, I paid like maybe 12 cents or something. Don't quote me on that. And then these ones I paid almost a quarter a piece for because there's only 26 pieces there. Um, but happy about that. Um, I'm looking forward to, to testing this out a little and actually trying to sell these and see how it goes. Um, but kind of fun. Um, if you if you enjoyed the video, um, definitely click the like button below. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to make those. I try to make an effort to respond to all of those. Um, and if you'd like to see more videos like this of different things I pick up at garage sales and uh, hopefully some videos about um, metal detecting and coin collecting this uh, summer, um, definitely subscribe to my channel. Um, I try to uh, ask people when I go to garage sales if they have uh, old coins for sale. Um, I haven't had too much luck yet, um, but I did um, get a few foreign coins that I talked about in, a, in the jewelry video. Um, I'm definitely not perfect about asking every single person, and I know if I did better at that, um, I'd probably have much more success with finding the, the coins, which is what I'm definitely most interested beyond any of this other stuff. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyways. Um, have a great day.